All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I just want to go through a few things, QQQ, NVIDIA, and Tesla. I think we have some moves here that are potentially profitable on the long side, so let's review it. Right now we have QQQ on the five-year chart, and you can see it's traded in this nice channel for the last five years. And basically, we are trading at the bottom of this channel. And what happened was, if you just look at the last month, you can see we went all the way down from 510, all the way down to about 420, which is like a 17, 18% pullback. And then what's happened now, if you're looking, you can see we are retesting the 450 level. So that moved just from 420, congrats longs, whoever bought at 420, going up to 450, a nice 7% move. But now we are either going to see a rejection of this 450 level, or we're going to break through it, retest the 450, hold, and then start pushing forward. So I definitely think this is something that you need to pay attention to if you are trading the NASDAQ. And if you're trading any company that is within the QQQ, meaning like NVIDIA, Apple, Microsoft, Google, all them. So keep an eye out on this. You technically have a higher low on QQQ, which is a good sign for the longs. Now this can all change. We can wake up on Monday and news can change. But for now, you got to play what you see. So right now it's showing us that we have higher lows and now it is retesting the 450. And let's see if we can hold this 450 level and get a move back up to retest 475 for another 5% move. So definitely keep that in mind when you're trading the QQQ. And if it starts rejecting 450, then you know, okay, I don't want to go long on the big caps. Next, let's move into NVIDIA. NVIDIA has been doing... It's really consolidating, to be honest, but you saw this nice bear flag on it. I just want to go to the five-year. Let's zoom out. It blasted off from $10 all the way up to $450. Started pulling back. It's good to look at the, the, the overall macro picture here. So from $140 all the way down to $91, it pulled back. It looks like 30%. So that's a huge pullback. And now, you know, you look at it, you see this 35 40% pullback, and you think, okay, where's the buy? Now, this could be a, a fallen knife, but notice how it is consolidating at this one simple area of support, which is 96 to 97. So we have to see, is NVIDIA going to hold up now? So here's the five-year chart looking at it, and look at this big candle all the way from 91 up to 111. Let's start zooming out a little bit. And as you can see, this is becoming an area of support right here, which is your 96 level. And if you're a long NVIDIA, you are still in a downwards triangle. So look at this. You are going here, and you draw this down. It has not broken this level yet. Down here, you had this. it sold off, had this bear flag, and started selling off, but it made a higher low. So what do I mean by higher low? It's the same thing with QQQ, $90.00. And then right here, it's trading just like QQQ right now and right in $96. If QQQ can break that 450 level, I think we have a chance to make a new high here. So that means that's consolidating the 104 range. Can it get above here and retest this 110, 112, which is, look where it lines up. It lines up right here, touched here, touched here. Will it touch around here again and fail, which would be around like 109, 108? If it can break this area, then you have a chance of going up. And what do you have coming up? You got earnings coming up for NVIDIA on August 28th. So that is definitely an area that we are looking at for earnings to see if they do well in earnings, will it pop just like TSM did? Because it's a semiconductor. Now, if you look at just continuous levels, where are your resistance zones? It's kind of clear right now. You can see 108 is a big resistance level right now. I'm going to make this red to make it a little easier for you guys. So you can see 108 is a resistance level. What is it doing? It touched here at this level. It touched right here. Look at this thin wick line right here. It touched here, 108, and it touched here. If, if you try to short NVIDIA, I would wait at least until 108 to 108.5 with your stop being like 110 because if NVIDIA can actually break through this level, on 108, what it's going to do is it's going to break and then it's going to retest the 108 level and it's either going to fail or it's going to bounce. 
So you definitely have to pay attention this week and see where is NVIDIA going to trade. Because if you look, this is the range bound right now. $90 all the way up to 108. And this is the higher level of the, of the rebound. So definitely be careful. It's trading in this area right now. So we need to see if it breaks 108 and then bounce and go higher. So just let the chart come to you. If it breaks 108, wait for the retest, then go. If it doesn't, you can take your short at 108, keep your stop tight, like 109.5, 110, and then trade it back down to like $99. Definitely an idea there for a trade, but always follow the stop loss. Uh, lastly, I just want to show Tesla. Tesla's consolidating here. I have them in the taxable portfolio. A couple shares at 154, um, average cost basis. And 200 starting to look like good entry. I might add to them, and it's 50 points higher than what I bought. But if you think about it, I traded them down in here where I bought like $154 a share. It's done nothing but go to the mood, and it went all the way up to 271. Yeah, did I take profits? No, it's in the taxable account. I don't want to pay taxes on it. I'm going to hold them long term anyway. But it looks like we are starting to finally get some support and you can see you had retest here retest here I'm going to zoom in so you can see this failure failure right here failure right here and then once it broke through the 193 it just went to the moon up to 270 but now it's trading within this channel and it's trading at the bottom of the channel so if you're going to take long positions on Tesla I'm not opposed to like 190 195 because you could see right here but your your stop loss has to be 181 I mean, if it breaks below 181, we're just going to start heading lower. But it's a, definitely a choppy chart to read where you can't really see a pattern. But what's nice to see for newer traders is you can see that there were bag bear flags. You can see it right there. You can see how the trend broke. And then you can also see it. This is clear as day. Look at this one. You see it right here. And this is why it's good to look at like at least the month out because you can really see the bear flag forming. But I don't really see that for this. You know, if you try to draw a bear flag, it's not really clear yet. I mean, this could be it right here where potentially Tesla, you know, starts making, goes up a little bit and then fails. And then we make that sell off that this is a potential trade, but it has to break this 195 really the 190 level and then start trending down back down to 181 for an 8% loss. That is a potential idea that you could do. I'm not really sure if that's going to pan out like that, but it's definitely something uh, I would consider. But I would stay long until it breaks that 195, 190, then I'd be thinking about cutting losses. But in my long term portfolio, I'm just going to add because I don't have any plans on selling them. So definitely something to think about because look at this five-year channel. I mean, the five-year channel, boom, rejection, rejection, rejection. Now let's see if it starts to build itself. It's going to need a good earnings report to blast back up.